Good evening, folks. Before we get started, we would like to express our condolences to the family of Anthony Lavelli, Jr., who passed away Thursday, January 8, 1998. Mr. Lavelli was a three-time All-Scholastic at Somerville High School on the basketball team. After he graduated, he went on to Yale University, where he was a four-time college All-American, and he had a total of 1,964 points. After his years at Yale University, he was drafted by the Celtics in 1949. Mr. Lavelli's accomplishments went well beyond the basketball court. He was an accomplished musician who wrote over 5,000 songs, and he also loved to play the accordion. He was also known to play the accordion at, at halftime during the Celtics games. After his one season with the Celtics, he was traded to the New York Knickerbockers, and then he played out the rest of his career with the Harlem Globetrotters. On behalf of the Highlanders, the Office of Communications, Mayor Michael Capuano's office, and the entire staff for tonight's game, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Lavelli family. Tony Lavelli Jr. was 71. Welcome to Highlanders basketball. Here we come right with the tip. And Everett gets control of the tap. And Jermaine with the rebound. We got a foul on number five already. But Jermaine goes down hard. Go over the, the starters first off for Everett. Number 12, Tim O'Keefe. Number 20, Eric Costa. Number 15, Kevin Harrington. Number 42, Mike Colometta. And number five, Pat McToomey. The starters for the Highlanders, number 51, Chris Trant. 33, John Qualtieri. 32, Donald Morris. 12, McConan Fenton. And Samson Jermaine, who's injured right now on the floor. And that foul was on number five, Pat McToomey. Samson's really limping, going to the bench. Looks like he's holding his calf. Could be more of a Charlie horse than anything. Hopefully it's that and not, kick, not a... Kick in the shin. <laughs> Number 45, Con Cathesis is coming into the game. 15-51, gone by. 15-51 left in the half. The point fan with the ball, he pushes up the court and overthrows it. Out of bounds off Ken Cathesis. That's a turnover on Fenton throwing the ball to Cathesis. And here we go, Everett's passing the ball around the perimeter, starting, starting off for defense for the Highlanders is a 2-3 zone. Head fake, gets a foul. We got a foul on number 45, Ken Cathesis. Number five, Pat McTomey, going to the line, shooting two. As you can see, Samson Jermaine, Samson Jermaine was just over there. The trainer's still looking at him. I believe they're about to put some ice on his, looks like his shin, on the, on the, on the back of his leg. For those of you who remember the Everett game last year, it was the final home game for the Highlanders and it's the game that knocked the Highlanders out of the playoffs for them not to get their 10th win. Very tough loss for the Highlanders. Ever really played them tough, but this year it's a different team for Everett. Without their star, Shannon Crooks, we'll see how the Highlanders can defend them. Ooh. John Quateri misses the three and the back rims it. Everett on a fast break. Nice board by McCone and Fenton. McCone, Fenton pushing the ball up the court. He has Donald Morris on the wing. He keeps it himself, goes up with the lefty layup for two. And it's been Fenton's pressure play that's really kept the Highlanders together, and especially in their last game against. We got a three by number 15, Kevin Harrington. What you were saying about Fenton? It was the, the, the win against Waltham last Friday night. Fenn made the pressure shot at the end. There you see a steal and a foul by Qualtieri. You see the replay here. See Qualtieri swats for the ball. 
Sampson Germain coming back into the game for Cathasis. Shoot the three. Nothing but Pioneers can't get control of the rebound. Dumps it down to number 42. Gets blocked by Donald Morris. Donald Morris picks up the loose ball. He's pushing the ball. As Gualteri kicks it off his knee, stone. Double so dribble on 21. You see, they had the break, but at this point of the game, slow it down, take your time, and get a good shot. Fenton with the ball at the top of the key to Qualtari. Back to Fenton. Back to Qualtari at the top of the key for three. Back rims it. And Fenton with the loose ball rebound to Donald Morris with the baseline. Jay for two. Ooh. Don Morris gets a piece of that. They're kicking it back. Just nice break. Two on one. Wow. Strong move by number 15, Kevin Harrington. That's five points for Harrington. He's shown now twice that he's driving to the hole, and he wants to go into the hole strong and draw fouls. It's up and down by Don Morris. Actually, jump ball. They're calling a jump ball. Possession arrow pointing to Everett. 6-4 lead for Everett. Possession arrow now is pointing towards Somerville. Double pump by Fenton. Gets it's his own no rebound. rebound. Big board by number two. As you can see, Samson Jermaine is back into the game. Seems to be all right. See if there are any ill effects uh, with that, uh, that knee to his shin. Fouls on number 42, Mike. Coameta, that's his first, team's first. McConan going to the line for two. Back rims the second one, but Jermaine with the big rebound. And we get another jump ball going Everett's way. Everett breaks the press easily. He kicks it back up to the top of the key, back down to the wing. Cross court pass to number 15. Ooh, John Colter almost had the steal there to kick it down low. Don Morris picks up the loose ball. He's pushing the ball. He has Fenton on the wing, goes up strong. Ooh, nice block by number 42, Mike Kalamita. That's what Everett is there. A good sized team, a strong team down low, and they blocked a lot of shots last year, and especially Kalamita, who blocked the shots last year, was the key to that win. McToomey, who was foul prone. You see him hack down low. Samson Jermaine going to the line for two. As you can see, the Everett's a, they have a lot of players who are a lot of who have a, a lot of athletic ability. They're quick jumpers. Um, as Samson Jermaine just did, he threw a head fake, got them off their feet, then committed, uh, drew the foul. That's what the Highlanders are going to need to do for the remainder of the game, because because Everett could jump and get a lot of blocks. Like like Jeff was saying, they had a lot of blocks from last year. Jermaine makes the first. That's all they really need to do. Give a head fake. Get him up in the air. Draw some fouls. And you get see, they have a young, well, they have a, a big senior squad, but there are a couple of juniors and sophomores on the team. It's a tie game at six. 12:50 left in the first half. Oh. Yep. Ball's out of bounds, going the other way. Highlanders ball slipped right out of his hands. Terry with the ball to Jermaine. He thinks about the free. He shoots it. Ooh, short. Rebound by number 42. Stupid foul by Donald Morris. Going back the other way. 
It's three team fouls on the Highlanders. Twelve thirty remaining in the game. Uh, excuse me, remaining in the half. The score is six six. Swinging the ball, fifteen with the three pointer, falls short. Jermaine with the rebound, gives it to Donald Morris, who kicks it up to John Gualteri. Back to Donald Morris at the top of the key, reverses it back to McCone defending at the top of the key. Everett playing man the man as they know. <laughs> nice save by Chris Chan to Donald Morris for two. Long cross-court pass, he can't get control of it. Chris Trant picks up the loose ball, gives it to Fenton. Fenton crosses over, got Donald Morris on the baseline, doesn't, doesn't have any, throws it away, Everett's ball. And this is the kind of game you're gonna see with, especially Everett's style, running gun style, off to the races every time they get the ball. They're not looking to settle it down and go for a good shot in, the, in an offense, as you saw in last game, as Waltham plays, a controlled offense. Everett doesn't play this way. Everett's going to run the floor back and forth, and it's going to be a high-scoring game. Big steal by John Gualteri for two. Nice job. 10 to 6, Highlanders. You got a double dribble going back the other way, Highlanders ball. The press is really working for them. 11-3 remaining. They have, that's a third, that's Everett's third turnover. Gualteri inbounding the ball. Gives it to Chris Tran on the baseline, dumps it down to Jermaine, who drives to the hold, head fakes. Oh, can't finish it. But Chris, oh, they call a loose ball foul on Chris Tran going the other way. Everett's ball. And the refs are showing that they're not going to let any slaps, hand slaps, or anything go down low. They've called the fouls on Everett down the other end. Equal time on both. Three seconds, no call. He bricks it off the backboard. Goes up, strong. Another brick, but look at that. Everett's just controlling the boards. They gotta box out, they gotta find your man. The Highlanders have to remember that they need to box out first, then go after the rebound. You, you can't go after a rebound of a team that's big, um, go after a rebound first, especially against a team that's bigger than you. McToomey missed his first two free throws of the game. As basically last time on court, the same thing happened. Yeah. They're battling down low. They're missing these. The same thing happened last year. That was, was Everett's downfall in the playoffs last year as they lost to Lawrence in the second round of the playoffs. As you just saw in that replay earlier, um, it looked like it was a clean clean block by um, Terry, but the referee called him for a foul. Actually, they called number 12, McCoy Fenton, with the foul before on um, Terry steal. Donald Morris with the ball, takes a strong, ooh, no foul call. Pushing the ball, back rims it, Fenton with the See big board. Another missed layup by Everett. He has a two on one. He... For the baseline, Jay, in and out. Ooh, head fake, goes by in baseline. It shows how much misses there have been down low because already Fenton has five rebounds himself down low. Two defensive rebounds. That shows the misses that they've been having, the Everett's been having. Number 20 is coming out of the game. And number four, Tyrone Brooks is in for Everett. Also number 23, Stern Chamberlain. Also number 44, Joe Ducato. Wholesale substitutions. Oh, nice board, nice board again. It seems like it's going to be the theme for tonight. If the Highlanders don't box out, I mean, although the Highlanders are up by two, it's still a long game ahead of them. They need a, they need this. Uh, That's two uh, fouls on Chris Trant early. Ten minutes left in the half. Just got to be careful down low. As number 23 Stern Chamberlain is in the game. Yeah, but like I was saying, they need to cut to the chase and need to box out right now, right from the get-go, and get some early rebounds. Oh, there's no box now. As soon as the shot is up, you got to find a body. Get your hands on them, box them out, and clear room. 
As you saw right there, Chris Tran clearing room. Somebody's got to help Fenton out. Chris Tran with the ball. It's a 10 second. Ooh. Oh. That's Fenton's second foul. McToomey is going back to the line. That's a six free throw. If. if I was Coach Melo, I would I would put Chris Trent in the back in the backcourt and bring up either Donald Morris or or Jamel Reese up to the middle of the paint. So they have a at least so they have at least a third option for a ball handler to bring the ball up the court. Um, once Chris Trent gets the ball, he's not really a ball handler. If he gets the ball, he, he can't do anything. All he's going to do is turn around and look to pass up the court. I think you're better off, especially with the way that Everett's playing, um, better off getting, getting the ball into a ball handler in the middle of the court and let him break him down and go right at the basket. Number five makes the free throw. It's three for six from the free throw line for Everett. Chris Trent is out of the game. His Terry has come back in for him. See, now we have Donald Morris in the middle to Fenton. And calling the foul number 23, Stern Chamblain. It's his first, team's third. Now, when you look at this Highlander team, pretty much everyone on this court has, um, has a pretty decent handle. Probably the weakest handle on the court as of right now would be Samson Jermaine. But, I mean, he, he still has a pretty good handle for a forward. Fenton to Donald Morris, back out to Fenton, up top to Qualtieri, reverse back, cross court to Jamel Reese, looking inside, can't see anything, gives it back to John to McConey, who crosses over, out to Jamel Reese for a three, big time, woo <laughs> Right into the press, Qualtieri with the steal, sees Fenton at the top of the key, he pulls it out. John drives baseline, gives it to Donald Morris, gets fouled. Foul's going to be on number 44, Joe Decato. Donald Morris going to the line for his first two free throws of the game. Everett's in the bonus now. That's Come on, Donald. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Donald Morris misses them both, but he gets his own rebound, kicks it out to Jamel Reese. Don Morris goes to the baseline, gets fouled. That's what they need to do, draw the fouls. The way to go up, Donald, that's the way to go up. Takato's second foul. That last one was in, Donald, put this one in. He's, as you can see in that replay, big three by Jamel Reese. Morris missing three straight free throws. Number 20, Eric Costin back into the game. But you see Everett plays a running style, which the Everett coach substitutes a lot of players in and out. Don makes his first free throw of the night. Under nine minutes remaining in the half. Score is 14 to nine, Highlanders. They break the press easy, two on one break. Ooh, got away with a charge there, no call, but the tip in by number 33, Joe Hill. Believe he got a T. Samson Jermaine was, as you can see, he's talking to Coach Malil. I believe he was angry because they didn't call the. I believe that um, Samson Jermaine was getting mad because they didn't call the charge charging foul. 
See, number Marilla's 20. Not, not happy about that. And Donald Morse is over here talking to uh, Murph. I believe he's talking to Murph about the free throw shooting. Hey. Thirteen Highlanders. Head face drives to the hole. Nice pass down the bottom. Nice block by Donald Morris. Break out the Windex for the pin them against the glass. The corner fan has Jamel Reese up top, but he kicks it to Donald Morris. Head fakes, drives baseline. Who's he gonna pass to? I do not know. Everett pushing the ball up the court, drives to the hole. You got a charge going the other way. Got a play control foul on number 23. Stern Cha Chamberlain. Falls on number 20, Eric Costin. Offensive foul. Nice fake by John Galtieri to get the defender off of him. Nice handle by Jamel Reese to keep the ball alive. Jermaine straight to the hole for two. Strong move by Samson Jermaine. Three point lead for the Highlanders with eight minutes remaining in the half. Cross court pass. Jermaine right there for him. Baseline J for two. Nice shot by number 23, Stern Chamberlain. McCone with the ball, gives it to John Gualteri. Right up the court to Jamel Reese, who gets control of it. Had Samson Jermaine on the baseline, but he didn't see it. Right over to Jamel Reese, head fakes. Drives to the hole. Oh. Wild shot by Jamel Reese. Everett pushing the ball up the court. Nice pass, boy, they can't control. But Chris Trent with another rebound. John Guantari is pushing the ball up the court. Had Jamel Reese, couldn't find him. Conan Fenton has the ball on the wing. It's probably Everett's 10th missed layup tonight. Cut to the hole, Jamel. Cut to the hole. Jermaine to the hole. Gets blocked. No call there. Everett pushing the ball again. Nice pass by Everett. Everett takes the lead, 17-16, 6.53 left. And that's exactly what we were talking about before. Everett's style is to keep running, and they'll keep running until they get it right. And as you saw them running right now, they're running the ball up and down the court, and they're missing half their layups. And it's the same type of style that we saw from them last year, but that time... They're going to make a majority of them if they keep letting them run the floor. Will has got to move to a zone defense, play a zone, and shut down that lane and not allow Everett to penetrate anymore. But the problem is, uh, it's on the break. And by the time they get back, they're already running back down the court. And there's no time to set up a zone. And Everett is already in for a layup before Highlanders even know what's going on. And as a result, they're down by one, 17-16. 6.53 left in the half. And Everett is in the bonus, so every foul from the Highlanders is going to be a free throw for Everett for the rest of the half. Can't pass through walls, people. There you go, Fenton. Keep the ball. There you go. Reverse it. Right there to Jamel. Nice job. You got Jamel Reese. There we go. Fenton Samson Jermaine. Pulls it out to Fenton at the top of the key. Back to Jamel Reese for three. Air ball. But he gets his own rebound. And we got to travel. As you just saw with the way the Highlanders broke the press, that's the way to break it. Should be three passes over half court. Should break the pass with the press with ease. If you get crisp passes, 
one to one player inbounds, two to half court, and once that, after the half court pass, you're over and you've broken the press. Right. Got a jump ball going Highlander's way. Donald Morris is back into the game right now for Jamal Reese. 16 with 6.15 left in the first half. 19-16 lead for Everett. Here's the press again. You see the first pass should be right to Trant at half court. Throw it to Trant at half court. If he's not open, somebody from the backcourt has to pop up and get the ball. As you just saw Donald Morris do it. It's the effective way to break the press. At the same time, though, when they catch, when whoever receives a pass in the backcourt, and when they catch it, they're turning and looking to pass. They're not really turning. Jermaine breaks the shot right off the backcourt. Doesn't get back. Ooh, defending trying to get the charge, couldn't get it. But, I mean, watch. They catch the pass, and he just right looks now, up. Right now, throw it to Trant at half court. And that's it, and Don Donald needs to catch the ball and go with it. He doesn't need to wait. He doesn't need to get catched. He has his back towards the basket. When you catch the ball, you want to catch and then square up to the basket. He's, his back is still to the basket, but Fenty for three, back rims it. And the outlet pass. Oh. It's, the dip, it's going the opposite way right now as the Highlanders are trying to press and Everett is simply running them right off the court. Great. But John Gualteri, go push it, baby! John Gualteri pushing the ball, gives it to Donald Morris, gets blocked. But a wild pass and Fender gets the ball. Again, that's the kind of play you see from Everett. They make a, a nice block and a careless pass and they turn it over. They're a very wild team, but they're a very dangerous team. And it's what you're seeing right now as they take a 23 to 16 lead. And that's Chris Trent's third foul of the game. That's gonna really hurt uh, Coach Miller because now he's gonna have to bring in someone off the bench. And as you can see, his bench isn't that deep. He only has four players. He's gonna bring in right now number 15, Hilaire Winker. So one and one right now, they should be going to the line. going to be, I believe, number five, Pat McToomey, who's going to the line. And what they've worried about before every time, number 20, Eric Costin was getting the ball. Coach Moe was yelling, shooter, who made a couple of threes against the Highlanders last year. But so far, Costin has not gone in. It's been three layups as he has eight points, three layups, two free throws. He makes the first. And it was Everett early we're missing the free throws, and now the free throws are going down for him. And he makes a second. Fenton with the ball. It's McToomey, five points all from the line. That should be a foul on 15. But the guards for the Highlanders need to stop waiting for waiting for Everett to trap them. It's like they're it's like they're inviting Everett to trap them in the backcourt. Get the ball, once you catch the ball, just go with it. Don't wait for them to come and trap you. I have them down for their seventh foul. This should be the bonus right now for Everett. And Highlanders should be going to the free throw line. So you see Coach Mull over at the scores table trying to clarify things. I believe that's his scorekeeper. I'm having the conversation with the Everett scorekeeper and it appears that Coach Mull is not gonna win this argument as the ref stands in. Kind of pushed Coach Mill kiddingly off to the side as you see him go off your screen. Actually, our cameras are following him. That's the camera work of Abby Friedman. Go over the camera crew. Abby Friedman is on one camera. Ricardo Lays is on the other camera. Gareth Palmer is on camera two. The director for tonight is Mike Bodo. Character generator, Jason Stewart. Replay, Todd Glacey. Audio is Mark Rosen, and the floor director is Tom Palmer. It's Jermaine's going to the line for the one and one, 25-16 lead for Everett, 428 left in the half. Ooh. 
That was signs of the old Samson Jermaine at the free throw line. And another stupid foul. That's six rebounds for Pat McToomey. Somebody has to get him off the boards. That's the second foul on Donald Morris. McToomey is going back to the line. Both of those fouls are very careless that, that Donald has. That's eight free throws so far for McToomey. He's five for eight from the free throw line. He's made his last three. You see Melillo and Fenton talking, most likely talking about the press break. McToomey is getting into his rhythm. Fenton breaking the press with the dribble, but he makes a careless pass. Loose ball, Everett pick, picks it up. Long pass to number 20. Nice pass, but they can't get control of it. Number 15 with the loose ball. Kicks it into number five. Nice pass, bumped by Give number me a foul on Samson Jermaine. Boxy number 42 right out of the picture. That's Jermaine's second foul. Looking to complete the three-point play. It's Colometta. Wow. John Quantari at the ball. And that's a 30 to 16 lead right now. Forever. And he Coach Miller wants a timeout right away. It's, this is getting ridiculous 3 now. 3.55 left in the half. Both teams in the bonus. 30 to 16 lead for Everett. This will let you enjoy some of Highlander cheerleaders. That was some of the Highlander cheerleaders. As you can see the Highlanders are trying to discuss the press break or a play to come down on the next on the next offensive play. Uh, 3.55 remaining. Everett is up by is up by 14 points. What the Highlanders need to do right now is it's just the, the ref showed early in the first half that they're gonna call the close fouls. Anybody near a player, if you even touch a player, looks like they're going to call the fouls. And it's been the last times down the court, and they've short of 11 fouls in the first half. They're going to call anything on them. Oh, no boxing out again. Again, Colomineta got his own rebound there, offensive rebound. Both teams are rebounding well. It's the reason both teams are rebounding so well down low is because there have been so many missed shots in the first half. Mike Kalamita makes one of two. Up, careless pass by McCone and Fenton. Cross court pass to Everett, right into the paint. Nice pass down low, out of bounds, off Everett, Highlanders ball. Everett coming into this game with a six and one record. The Highlanders coming in with a four and four record. Donald. Wiggins, step up. Kick it up. Kick it up. Go. Go. Fuck. 
Winka getting his own rebound down low. No foul called. Number 20, Eric Klassen calling for the ball at the three-point line. You got to watch out for him shooting the threes as he sets one off. In and out. John Gualtieri with the ball. Keep going, John. Perfect. Right to Samson Jermaine. Goal. Found by number 21, Tito Rodriguez. Jermaine's going to be going to the line for two. Like a, uh, look, look like a clean block clean to block me. Here, but we'll... Right now, the Highlands will take anything that's been the scoring drought for probably the past five minutes. In and out, but big board by Winker. Oh, I can't control of it. Travel. Uh, his shoulder was on the on the line, going the other way. Highlanders ball. Two thirty remaining in the half. Fenton with the ball at the top of the key. Little hesitation. There's his bread and butter right there. First time. Oh. Nice no-look pass by number 21, Tito Rodriguez. Somebody's going to guard Eric Costin. It's 10 points from the first half. Jermaine with the ball. Almost traveled with it, but he gets a foul by number 21. It's two fouls in a row for Rodriguez. Jermaine's Jermaine going to go to the line again. Come on, Samson. Come on, babe. Three for six from the line so far tonight. Two two, Sam. Come on, babe. You hear the voice in the background is Lauren Murphy, who is a statistician for the Highlanders, and also free throw shooting coach, who's really supportive of the free throw shooting for the Highlanders. Every time they go to the line, you can hear his support for them. And he's really helped out Samson Germain, who's really turned his free throw shooting around as he makes two for two. 33-21 lead for Everett, 150 left in the first half. Milo's telling him the matchup. Traffic. Ooh, ooh, there's foul a foul. On Morris. And there's Donald Mar Morris' third foul. And I, he'll sit down probably now for the rest of the first down. half. Bring, Milo needs to bring in Jamel Reese. Or see, if we get a, see if we can get a replay on that. Maybe see if was close or not on the play. We're going to the one and one now for Angelo Longo. Star Morris is staying in the game. 147 remaining. Still a lot of time. He needs to play smart defense. Big board by Donald Morris. Kicks it out to Fenton. And Everett's right in at the press. He gets his money taken by number three. But the ball is out of bounds. Fender with the ball again. He's pushing the ball up the court. Winker to the top of the key to Fenton. Fenton back to Winker. Looks inside to Jermaine. Doesn't see him. He drives to the hole. Drives right to the lane for two. Nice move by Winker. 34-23 with 1.13 remaining. Breaks the press. Oh. John Gualtieri had a piece of the ball. Everett pushed the ball around baseline. Nice play. Jermaine couldn't get the offensive foul. Now here we go. Everett's right up with the press. It's a 2-2-1 two -two press. Gets Jermaine right in the middle. Uh, got away with another travel. But he also had Don Morris on the wing. Into Jermaine. Goes up strong. High off the backboard. 
Nice move. I will say this though, right now it appears that it's not worth it to press Everett. Let Everett bring the ball up, let them get into their offense, which is not working early on. They don't seem to have any form of an offense. They're stealing the ball and running that back down the court. This is what they do best. So you gotta get down, let them bring the ball, play a zone, and let them run through their offense. They have a 40-23 lead with 10 seconds left in the first half. Go! Nice crossover by Winker. Oh, champ finish. That's the half. At the score at the half is 40 to 23. Uh, Everett. Austin with 10, McToomey with 11. <coughs> For Somerville, Morris with 5, and Jermaine with 7, 40 to 23. Set it up, Everett! Okay. First layup by number 15, Kevin Harrington. And here we go, Fenton with the ball. And Everett's going right back with their bread and butter with the press. To Donald Morris. Fenton with the ball at the top of the key. Right there, that takes 15 seconds off. Takes 15 seconds right off the um, shot clock. Let's get the shot. Alright, let me fix it. Here we go, Fenton with the ball to Gualteri. Number 20, Eric Austin is all over Gualteri. Donald Morris for three. Breaks it, but John, John Gualteri with the ball. Boy, big board by McCone and Fenton. He pulls it out, he's gonna reset the offense. Over to Samson, Jermaine, back to Fenton. Top of the key, hello. There we go, whoops. Big board by Donald Morris, he can't get the rebound, tries to tip it. He threw an air ball that, and didn't touch the rim, caught his own shot. It should have been a violation, but they end up calling a foul on number 15, Kevin Harrington. That's his second. Donald's going to the line for two. Donald, the Highlanders need to make a quick run right here now. Morris misses the first one. But he makes the second. No fouls, no fouls. Stupid. What is? That's his fourth foul. 
That's Donald Morris's fourth foul with 14 minutes remaining in the game. He's going to have to come out right now to hold up saving him. He's telling, he's calling Coach Moore off. He'll keep him in the game, see if he can play. There's, there's nothing he, Coach Miller could do about that. I mean, although although Don Morris wants to stay out there, he... Well, you saw in the last game, on Friday's game, Waltham, their star player played the whole second half with four fouls. It can be done. You just have to be True. a little less careful. But the way Everett is running, it's better to take him off for a couple of minutes. Nice. Nice board by Chris Trent. Gives it to McConan Fenton. He pulls it up. As you can see, it just looked like Fenton was just waiting for him to come and trap him. I've, this is the first time I've noticed this from him at um, this season. It seems like he was just willing to go to the hole just like that. Just keep going Calling to the hole. On a travel on Fenton right now. It's hard to see from this angle with the whole defense playing. This is what you need to do. You're playing the zone. Everett is Everything is to the hole except for number 20. So let's see what they can do. Big basket by number five, Pat McToomey. 13 points for McToomey. Calling a jump ball well before the time number out. 20, Eric Costin, trying to call a timeout. 20 point lead for Everett with 1344 remaining in the game. But Everett still stay with man to man. That's what they've been playing. It's a foul on Tito Rodriguez. That's his third foul. It's a shooting foul. Fenton goes to the line for two. He has four points for the game. He's 0 for 2 from the line. Here he goes the line for two more. As you can see, got the elbow right there. There's an elbow in the side by number 21. Didn't touch his hands in the shooting motion. It was when he was going up, he got a foul on the body. Now he's at the free throw line. Back rims the second, rebounded by Everett. Every looking to push the ball up the court. Tipped by Gualteri, can't get control of it. Spin move, got away with a little travel there. This guy will hit three. the three. Short. Chris Chan with another rebound. Telegraph the pass. The Highlanders have just been, make, been making careless passes the whole game. That's 11 points for number 15, Kevin Harrington. There we go, perfect break. Now, oh, Winker had him in the middle, but he spots up for a three, short. Jermaine can't control the rebound. Tito Rodriguez with the ball, quick outlet, over the head of number 20, going back to Highlanders' ball. And again, that's the way to beat Everett, okay? If they get into a running game, Highlanders had enough time to get back. There was a careless pass out of bounds because they saw the defense there. Yep, the see, defense... look at that. Quick, crisp passes, double pump, nothing there. Winker can't control the rebound, but if, as long as they make quick passes, they'll be able to break the press with no problem. But at the same time, they have to, if they, if they make a turnover, if they, get, um, if they can't get an offensive rebound, they have to know that they have to get back on defense, which they're not doing. I mean, Jermaine's still back at half court while this play is going on. And now, with 12-22 remaining in, in the game, Coach Miller's going to bring back Donald Morris, who has four fouls. He needs to get points from Morris, who right now has six points. Morris needs to come in, get the offense rolling, and turn this game around. Right now, 48-25 lead for Everett. Okay, Donald Morris with the ball. He's the primary ball handler right now. Wow. Somebody's gonna close off Harrington going to the hole. Wholesale of substitutions coming in for Everett as they're up by 25. 25 point lead with under 12 minutes remaining in the game. Don Morris with the ball at the top of the key. 
hesitates. Kick ball to reset the shot clock. Wholesale of substitutions for Everett. Morris with the ball at the top of the key. Everett going into a zone. Ball Terry passes the ball, cross court to Winker. Head fakes, double pumps, count it. That's a foul on Eric Costin. That's his second foul. Winker's going to the line, finish off the three point play. Makes a three point play. Everett for three. Swish. 53 28. Everett. Donna Moore with the ball. Somebody's got to be open as they trip. Double teaming. Qualtary. There we go. There we go. Now Winkle with the ball. Tries to push it to the lane, double pump. Another big basket by Wicker. 53-30, Everett. 11 minutes remaining in the game. Seven points for Winker. Rebound by Chris Jay. Got, he has Winker wide open, he doesn't see him, but Donald Moore's pushing the ball up the court. It's six Dude. rebounds for Chris Tran on the night. Jermaine trying to cross him over, kicks it off his foot. Double dribble. That's number three's third double dribble, double dribble of the game. <laughs> Andrew Longo, number three, having trouble with the defense by the Highlanders. And Everett still pressing for the whole game, up 53 to 30. Winker thinks about it, lets the defender commit to him. Jermaine can't finish the rebound. Players all over the floor. Nice bounce pass. Nice play. Tim O'Keefe, two Chris points pass. on the night. Winker firing Winker from, from deep. Can't get the rebound, block. Foul on number 44. Joe Decato, that's his third. Chris Trant's going to be going to the line for his first two free throws of the game. Chris Trent makes the first. You can see nice rebound by Chris Trent, but he get, and he gets the foul when he's trying to tip it back in. Going to the line for the second shot. Makes the second. Highland is trying to press. Nice steal by Samson Jermaine. And with the second string of Everett in there, if they can throw some defense on him, get some steals, break this lead down maybe to, you know, 15 points. This game is still on reach with 9.50 left. Paul Terry with the rebound driving to the hole. Off the backboard. Should board, be a foul on number 44. Can't control the rebound. Oh. Woo, I thought that they were calling a foul on Donna Morris. Number that three, Angelo Longo stepping on the line, dribbling down the court, but back down the other end. Number 44 nailed Paul Terry right in the face as he was going up for the shot. That was a big gamble by Donna Morris, though, with his fifth foul. I mean, Number three is all foul. over Morris. Coming into to the game right now is Jamel Reese coming in for Paul Terry. Inbound it to Winker. 
Right to Jamal Reese for three short. Jamal Reese with the steal. He's trying to push it up the court. Finger roll, baby, what you want? There you go. They need to get back now. Oh. I'm calling a foul on Winkers. There was a collision. Number four. Tyrone Brooks. Jermaine. Oh. Samson Jermaine trying to look up for the Jamel Reese. Right now, a fade 52 left in the second half. 55 34 lead. Everett is showing right now. Unless the Highlanders break in, it was Everett showing right now. They got a very deep bench, and it's why they're 6 and 1 right now. Right into Jermaine. No one's on him. Gets, gets blocked. Going the other way. No, oh, sorry. Everett's ball. Highlanders' ball. Excuse me, folks. Highlanders need to come out with a good basket. Donald Morris for three, swish. And all five starters right now coming back in for Everett on the next dead ball. Wow, soft touch by number four, Tyrone Brooks. But Everett's bench is hanging right in there. They're playing, they're running, and Everett's bench is running their offense more effectively. They're running it down. There you go, right there. on opportunities. Three Chris passes. Jermaine with the baseline jumper. That's nine points for Sampson. Jermaine is a cut into lead, an 18 point lead. Eight minutes left. There's a still possible here. If you see the Highlanders are scrapping now. Wow, a shot. Highlanders can't control it. Rebound by Tyrone Brooks, and that's Donald Morris's. Do you get a foul? Calling the foul on Donald Morris? No, no. That th oh. Calling offensive foul on number three. Angelo Longo has really had a really kind of had a tough night. Call actually they call the technical, I think. It's who's gonna yeah, shoot. It's gonna be a technical. Yeah, and Jermaine, who's been the right now the one of the best free throw shooters for the Islanders, has turned his season around for, at the free throw line with nine points tonight. I guess they're calling a foul, on a technical on number three. And whatever it was, the advice that Samson Jermaine got to change his free throw shit around worked. Because he's taking his time, bending his knees and extending, and it's working. Nothing but net. That's 11 points for Jermaine. 57-41 lead, 7.51 left. Anything is possible right now, but all five starters back in for Everett. Highlanders have got to be careful as Everett continues to press. Donald Morris put on the line. Can't get it, but tipped by Jermaine. Oh. I don't know if you folks can see it at home, but Jermaine seems to be lipping. I don't know if it's from the effects of that. Uh, and call foul number 30, Jamal Reese. But I don't know if you were... Three team fouls in the second half for the Highlanders. I don't know if you folks um, at home are watching from the beginning of the game. Timeout Everett. Still plenty of time yeah. right now. Because we're going to let Kevin finish the sentence. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Um, but I don't know if you, could, if you guys noticed from the beginning of the game, Samson Jermaine got, uh, got his knee, got his shin knocked by a knee. And uh, he seems to be limping still. The Everett cheerleaders gain a huge boo from the crowd.
Again, 7.30 left in the first half. The second in the game, 7.30 left in the game. 57-41 lead. Qualteri's out of the game. Number 50, Wink is into the game. Reese is playing tough defense on number 21, Tito Rodriguez. Almost had a steal there. They kick it down low into the paint. Foul. And the basket. Pat McToomey. Foul on number 12. Fouls on number 12, McCormick Fenton. He's looking to complete the three point play. Sixty forty one lead, seven twenty left in the game. Right now Highlanders need to start get Qualteri back in the game. Morris and Qualteri start shooting up the threes. Nice lefty. Right now J Jamel Reese, Donald Morris, Corner Fenton, Samson, Jermaine, and Hello Winker is in the game right now for the Highlanders. Spin move, catches his own travel. pass, that's a travel. Right now you're down 60 to 43, time is running down. Every time down the court, throw up the threes if you don't have a wide open layup. Jermaine thinks about the three, drives to the lane, kicks it out to Jamal Reese, back up the top of the key to Don Morris. Don Morris hesitates, pulls up for a three. In and out. Calling an offensive foul on Samson Jermaine. Yep. That's his third. Call Jermaine for pushing. It's five team fouls. 6.30 left in the half. Foul on Fenton. Wow, it's really getting physical. The Highlanders the are problem, trying. The, what happened with that press was, if we can get a replay on that, as you can see the press was, three players were trapping in the backcourt. So, whenever it got the ball over, there were three players for the Highlanders in the backcourt, and if that would have converted into a basket, it would have been five on two. Strip, got Jamel Reese wide open. Goes on strong with the lefty, can't get it. The defender can't control the rebound. Got away the carry there. Number five pulls up for the jumper, back rims it. Fenton with the rebound. They're looking to push. Six minutes remaining in the game, 60 to 43 Everett. Down low to Samson Jermaine, backs in off the backboard for two. Stepped out of bounds, going the other way. Highlanders ball. Highlanders need some quick points right now. It's number 42, Mike Colomena, coming back into the game for 44, Joe Decato. Let's go, Jamel. Go right at it, baby. For three. What do you want, kid? Nice shot by Jamel Reese for three. 60 to 48. Right there, strip the ball. Two like, Everett's ball. Come on. Nice block by Donna Morris. Nice block by Donna Morris, who has four fouls right now. Also with four fouls, McCormick Fenton. Breaks the press with ease. Jermaine thinks about the three kicks out to Fenton. Top of the key to Jamel Reese. Five minutes left in the game, 62-48. They've got to put up the baskets quick. No time to set up your offense. you got to shoot quick. Bread and butter. Ooh, back door. My nice board by Donna Morris. Can't get the, can't, can't get the shot to fall. Gets his blo shot blocked, and we got to follow Don Moore. Should be going also to the number line. number 42. That's his second. 
but so offensive rebounding right there. Rebound by Fenton, who got the rebound down low. And then another offensive rebound by Donald Morris. That's two offensive rebounds in that stretch. Morris is going to the line for two free throws. Call Terry's coming back in for number 30, Jamal Reese. In and now, big board by John Gualteri, who's coming off the bench right now. Donald Morris looking to push the ball. Hesitates. Nice move by Donald Morris for two. Kind of just need to get up now. 12-point lead for Everett. 4.30 remaining in the game. The Highlanders... Ball is tipped. Head double pump for two for Everett. There we go. Jermaine with the ball. Gets it hit from behind. Somebody's got to get back. That's a travel. Definite travel by number 21. 64 to 51. Four minutes left. There's still plenty of time to break this down and take the lead behind as they've got to play smart offense and get the ball over half court, first of all. There we go. Fenton with the ball. Hesitates. He get a good smart shot. Play, smart play. Pull it out. Finds Gualteri at the top of the key. John Morris has it now. But you still can't use up that much of the clock. Got to go. He hesitates. Kicks it to Fenton for three. Hit. Air ball, but Gualteri with the rebound. Nice ball for two. 11 point lead for Everett. 3.30 remaining in the game. 64 53. There's still too much, there's not enough time left to be delaying that time on the offense. They've got to get quick shots. Kicks it in. And they've got to stop McToomey. They got travel going the other way, baby! I'm surprised Everett hasn't called a timeout yet. Just as I said it, they call Again, a timeout. That, that's what I was saying earlier. If you let Everett get down in their offense and play in their offense, setting it up. They're going to commit turnovers. Their offense is very, very questionable. As the, every time there's a questionable call down low on them on their offense. left in the game, 64-53 lead for Everett. Everett staying with their five starters. As Except you can for see, Gualtieri with the rebound, goes up with the lefty for two. Here we go. Chris passes now just to break the press. In, ball inbounded. Right now a three by either Morris or Qualtieri will really make things interesting. Here we go. Right to Jermaine. Oh! Careless pass. You can't telegraph the pass. Fake high, go low. Fake low, go high. Do something. But three. Kevin. Big boy by Donald Morris. He gets it. He's looking to push the ball. Gives it to Fenton. For the baseline jumper, got fouled, they didn't call it. There you go, Ray. Oh, has Donald Morris wide open underneath, he doesn't see it. 2.45 remaining, 11 point lead for Everett, gives it to Donald Morris on the wing. Kicks it out to Fenton. Yeah, it's got to score quick on this possession. Winker. Winker thinks about it, doesn't have anything. Kicks it back out to Fenton with, oh. Winker passes the ball right. Too low for Fenton to control it. Ball goes all the way down to the other baseline. 
Everett's That's ball. where Everett gets the ball from. As nobody touched the ball going back down the court. You've got to watch carefully right now. 42 down low, giving it back to number five, McToomey. But they're going to bring the ball out. Make. You're in the you're in the bonus. And now you can see Everett's coming out with a four corner offense. It's gonna force Melo to come out into a man to man with the although they still have the 30 second shot clock, they're just gonna Everett's just gonna run the clock all the way down. It's an eleven point lead. I mean two quick threes and we could get this um right on I mean into single digits. One three and you can get into single digits. Oh, there's still plenty of I mean, time. There, you got, there is. You got three Three good three-point shooters, plus Jermaine is a good three-point shooter, too. You have plenty of firepower. 12-point lead for, the, for Everett right now with 216 remaining. Coming back into the game is Jamel Reese for Winker. He makes them both. 13 point lead for Everett. Donald Morris at the ball right now with two minutes remaining in the game. Kicks it up to John Gualteri. Right to Santa Germain who throws it away. Cross score pass and here's the four corners offense. See, they're just taking their time. Offensive foul on McToomey. That's his second foul. Jermaine takes the charge. All the Highlanders are really playing tough defense, and they're really working hard out there. So the turnovers have hurt them. Jamel for three. There you go, kid. That's what we need. Say it now. Gotta get back. Gotta get back now. Jermaine. Nice hustle by Fenton. Ten point lead right Reese now. Reese is hobbling back up the court here. Coach Miller calling for a timeout. Reese got a knee in the thigh, it looks like. As he's holding he's holding the back of his leg. See if we can get a replay on that three-pointer by Reese. As you see some people, some fans out of the crowd who are coming out cheering. See if he gets hit. Here you go. I have no idea what he didn't happened. Didn't get hit him. at all on that, but it could have been on the. Keep rolling that tape. It could have been on, on the play down the court when they were diving for the steal. Somebody could have run into him. And here we go. Here it is. Yeah, okay, there you go. Right number, there. It was number 42 who ran into him, and it's. A play that could have been called a foul, but it's just 134 left, 10 point lead. Both teams in over the limit. Right now, with over the limit, anything can happen. <laughs> Quickly running down the crew, cameras. Ricardo Lays, Gareth Palmer, Abby Freeman, Character Generator, Jason Stewart, Audio, Mark Rosen. The replay is brought to you by Todd Glacey. The director for this half has been Tom Palmer, and the floor director, Mike Bodo. Here's the lineup for the Highlanders right now. Jamel Reese, Donald Morris, McConan Fenton, John Gualteri. All five and Highlander Samson players Jones. right now are good three-point shooters. But no defense right there in that play. Textbook inbound play by Everett is number 20, Eric Go Austin. With it. You only have a minute 68, 30. Move it. 56. There we go. Donald Morris. Pop up for a three. He hesitates. Goes to the lane. Lefty misses the wide open layup. Foul, you got a foul right now, number 30, Jamal Reese. That's only his second foul. 
but 20 is the wrong person to be sending to the line, who's four for four tonight. And he's going in for the one and one. And Wink is coming in for Samson Jermaine. Coach Miller is trying to play a little offense defense now. Walter with the rebound. Go! Push it! Minute left. 68-56. You got to start throwing up the threes. McCoy Finley drives to the hole. Jump stop for two. Bread and butter, baby. Here we go with the press now. Go! Oh, steals! Oh! Calling the foul on Donald Morris. Jamal Reese trying to get the foul from the rest. See if we can get that play back. See who the foul was on. Before that on the play, the foul was called down low. McToomey's going to the line. See if we can roll that replay he had, back a little Jamal further. Reese got the stole the inbound pass. Right from the steal it. when Reese steals the ball. But then what, what, what happened, uh, Jamal Reese lost control of the ball. He had a foul to stop the clock. Chris Pitts coming into the game. 10 point lead with 49 seconds remaining. See, here we go. Here's he the steals play. the play. Steals the ball. Gets it, loses oh, it. No Ooh. question the foul is on Dal Morris. Yeah. He was the that one was... near the play, but it's a light slap. He had no choice. He had to stop the clock. That was his fifth foul, 10 point lead. As the crowd begins to file out. 49 seconds left, 10 point lead. McToomey going to the line. It's 13 free throws for McToomey. 10 for 13 from the line for McToomey. He's been the one that's hurt them the most. Reese head fakes. Drives baseline, gets a shot blocked. That was a no foul on that play. And number three is with the ball with 35 seconds remaining with a 12 point lead. Everett's just gonna run the clock down. Pushing the ball, nice pass. Two. 22 seconds, 72-58. On the foul on number 42. That's his third foul. Fenn's going to go to the line for two. But seven points on the night. The crowd is fouling out quickly as Everett empties out their bench. And this is going to bring the Highlanders record to five, four and five. The next game is this Thursday at Medford. And Fenton makes a second, 72 59 with 12 seconds remaining. Chris Pitts seals it for three, swish. And that's the game. The final score is Everett, 72. Highlanders, 62. Good night, folks. Our next telecast for Educational Channel 15 will be next week when the Highlanders host. It's going to be a doubleheader next week. The next boys telecast is, fry, is next Tuesday. It's going to be a doubleheader. The boys are going to be at 5 o'clock, and the girls are going to be at 7.15. The next telecast on Educational Channel 15 that you'll be seeing is this Friday as the girls face Medford. For Kevin Scott, this is Jeffrey Genziano. Good night.